Welcome to Narrabur, the James Bill. Hope you're well. Thanks for joining me. Well, yesterday I lined the ceiling in the bow bedroom, which now it's all been painted, looks really good. Um, the uh, It was a bit tricky getting, getting the lines in, but yeah, I'm happy with how that's gone. Um, now today I really want to turn my attention to lining the, or finish, finish the lining in the boat now, basically. I want to line the rest of the bow bedroom um the first two panels um the further back ones are okay that's not going to give me too much jip but as we move forward into the bow they kind of they slope upwards um so the angles on this i'm not i'm not particularly looking forward to and also pushing the get, you know, getting a decent fix on the boards i'm not looking forward to either but Anyway, needs must, let's crack on. This bit here is okay, but as I go further up towards the bow, the upper wall start to slope upwards and so does it on the lower part as well. And I want to keep that line obviously because it's quite a nice line. So I'm just going to do it in sections. So I'm going to do this bit here because this is straight and true. And then as it starts to go up there, I'm just going to have to scribe it as best as I can. Put the James edge against there. That's, that's halfway across that batten, so I'm able to fix it in properly. This is the panel I've cut for this next section, which is basically going to fit in there like that. I need to insert the attachment for the switch, so I need to turn the power off before I cut that. Before I do that, I can't see anything. I'm going to cut the hole for the plug. So from the end here, it's 25, and I think they're all going to be the same height from the bottom up. Yes, this is 25 and 25. And it's a 20 millimetre diameter hole I need so I basically go all the way through with this step drill there we go right now I can turn the power off Let's 
minute I won't have to do any of that mucking around. sink because this like this piece isn't coming out again. Okay, switch. Power. Turn on. Sweet. All right, now I can attach that in the bottom. Take a bit of shape now here in the bedroom. Right, this is the next piece I've got to do. And now it starts to get starts to get tricky again because it starts to curve. And I don't know how this nine mil is going to take the curve. And I don't, if if I'm to put it. If I'm to use five and a half mil for this wall, now's the time to change it. I just don't know. But I haven't got enough five and a half mil to do all the walls, I've only got nine mil for it. So I'm gonna press on with the nine. The taking off the curve now around here. I'm sure it'll be all right there, but this one is more angled. I'm wondering if I'm gonna have to excavate some of that. I think I'm also gonna have to trim some bloody insulation again. Right, so now this is the tricky part. I'm not saying this is the panel, but if it were to be, it's 
Okay, that's seen. Well, I mean, it's just going to be the way it is. It's just on an angle. Nothing I can do about that. But you see there at the top, it's kind of, the top is really going up. So the way to do this, well, there's two ways of doing this. I can either scribe the line of the ceiling or I can tilt the timber that way, mark like that, mark out that distance there, cut it off there, and point the board up the hill. I think that's what I'm going to do. Now what I'm trying to get here, I don't know if you're picking this up on camera, is to push in this curve and these supports right at their limit. Well, in terms of their minimum limit. So I'm just kind of putting them in and pulling them, just using force. And I think I've got an okay line to begin with. This is the first attempt. See if I can get another support in a bit higher up and see if I can get got a lot more give in it but getting it in position is the hard bit every nodge it moves a bit no, I've got no idea of really telling how tight up against that is it's quite tight up against there and I presume there as well. That angle there is pretty bad. I need a tapometer but I can't even get it in there. Uh, if I was to nudge it from the bottom it might put, pivot it round. I mean, I'm definitely going to have to have some trim on there anyway. The question is, can I live with that? Well, I think I might have to. I mean, it's kind of in, it's taken the curve. So I'm pretty happy with that. I might have to settle for that because it really has taken that curve nicely. It's one of those things where you just got to pick your battles.
well, that has turned out a damn sight better than I thought it was going to. That's good. I was worried that the curve wasn't going to be even on the top and bottom. I mean, in fairness, it's not. This is much nicer curve at the top. But this bottom, when I was doing the battens, I wasn't, I didn't have the time because the spray foam man was coming. So I didn't have time to bend the baton like I did at the top. So it is much more angular at the bottom. But I think when it's trimmed up, I think that's gonna have to go on a slant as well. That might take out some of the angle. I don't know, I'll see what it looks like when the next piece is on over there and the end bit. Right, this is the next panel to put up on the starboard side. And just like on the other side, I've cut this one to halfway through this baton just before the curve starts. So the next piece can get a decent grip on this flat bit of baton before the timber has to take on the curve. This has taken quite a bit of trimming to get this one right. last piece to do similar to how I did it on the other side if it went in as easy as that then I'm laughing and amazingly for the first time ever I've actually got a half decent space in order to lay down some large timber This is 135 at the bottom, 130 at the top.
I don't think that's a million miles off. So it's hard to gauge this because obviously I've got to push it in. But it does need to be trimmed a bit. Obviously when I push it in, it will take up. Some of that gap. I think it does need about 10 mil taken off that end if I can get it out without lacquering it all. That's not so bad. That's a bit comparable to the other side. Right. Oh my God, right. <laughs> a couple of days ago, my dad offered to drive up and hold a piece of wood for me. I really wish I had someone now. This is not gonna be, all right, I've got to let go of that. But that's the place for it. Uh, that's it. Okay. Oh, bloody hell. How am I going to do this? Because now the other side's got a piece of timber on it. It's going to be hot. It's going to be, it's that much narrower to get a to get any angle on it. I only just managed to get it in before when I had that void. Now I've lost the void on both sides. Um. Oh my God, what am I gonna do? Right, actually, let me see if I can drill them. <laughs> You're probably screaming at the TV, put the drill in it. If I can loosen that one. Oh, bloody hell. Right, I need to trim a bit off the top here then. so I can reach it. Come on. <clears throat> yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, stay there. Oh, 
can't see anything. Nothing's quick in the narrow boating world, but this took a bloody age. But I am really happy with how it's turned out. I'm going to trim these bottom bits so they kind of come up in line with that. So obviously I've got to still line the, uh, the bow wall. I think it's probably going to come to probably a little bit below that layer of insulation and obviously this will come up to the same level. You can see there how the lights turn in as well. Just got to finish these bits here above and below the window. But I'll have to crack on with that tomorrow. Hope you guys are well. Until then, bye bye.